Hello, faculty, administration, and staff. This is our weekly online newsletter. In this week's episode, I want to introduce you to an online tool for helping each and every one of our learners succeed in each of our classes. This program is called Study Island. You will receive from me an email later on indicating your individual logins. Now, and I want to walk you through the basics of what Study Island can do for you and your students and their individual needs. Remember that at any time you need help, please pause this video and notify me through email and I will be happy to help you. This is the launch page or the login page. If we were to log in, we would come to the teacher page. From here, you can create classes on groups for your individual students' needs. The rosters are digitally uploaded and they're continuously uploaded. A new student joins the district and a new student will come upon your roster online. The needs of each individual student should be taken into consideration. The learning support, special ed departments should be consulted before assigning tasks through the teacher page. The features to meet students' individual needs are numerous, including adjusting the goals for the IEP goals or even 504 goals. Let's now take a look at the student settings where these modifications and accommodations can be made for each individual student. In student settings, you will come across several goals that can be met through a student's individual needs. Passing goals, access can be denied or restricted depending on the student's capabilities. Practice sessions can also be modified and at best for our auditory learners or visually needed aid learners, an auditory component can be incorporated as well. For the nosy onlookers, or as I call them, screen watchers, the individual settings can be hidden from the screen as to show little to no obvious differentiation. The answer choices can be modified for each student as well as without much difference in appearance. The additional feature that allows differentiation is the read aloud settings, which I have previously mentioned. It can be fine-tuned to the subject area based on specific students' needs. From here, we will move into the settings with a benchmark testing. This can be done in assignments based on the content area. This is the assignment page. Now the typical content area of math, reading, and writing is also expanded upon by social studies, science, and depending on your state's content area, standardized testing as well. Let's look through creating an assignment. Through this, you can set the parameters of when it starts, when it ends, and specific instructions to students. You can allow game mode, which allows a reward for correct answers to be played after the session is over. You can also align study tools as well to help students read, highlight, and take notes as they go through the test questions. From here, programs can be selected, and as you can see, there are quite a number of them. For the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, there are standards, keystone standards, and programs found throughout the United States related to Common Core, Terra Nova, NCSS, and GSS as well as AP content area 
as well too. Benchmarking can be recorded and collected and at any time you, the teacher of your individual class or a teacher within that school's program of Study Island can reference back to any previously given prep benchmark exam. Unfortunately, many special classes offered within our own district cannot be found on Study Island. But supplemental material can and is often updated on Study Island. We as a school know that teaching to a test is not a fun way to teach. And it is a true curse of teaching those factors of not finding every need on Study Island was definitely taken into consideration. Blending the tools on Study Island as well as your already great lessons is the goal of using Study Island within each and every one of our classrooms. Setting up benchmarks for simple but meaningful lessons Study Island is a supplement for the job that you are already doing, and it is a great job. I want to thank you, and if at any time you need help, please feel free to email me.